Hey guys, for Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. For the past month or so, we've collectively had Drake's In My Feelings stuck in our heads whether we wanted it to be or not. The already catchy song spread like a wildfire in a matter of days thanks to a viral video dance challenge. Before we knew it, Kiki Do You Love Me became everyone's favorite question and everyone's favorite excuse to hop behind their phones and bust out their best moves, modeled after Instagram star Shiggy. Admittedly, the first time I paid attention to In My Feelings was after seeing Shiggy get low, bounce around, and outline a heart with his hands. After that, the rest was history. Everyone got on the Do The Shiggy Challenge, even big name celebrities like Leslie Jones and Will Smith co-signed, with the latter doing the challenge on top of a bridge in Budapest. Shiggy's video garnered millions of views and Drake's song garnered millions of streams. Just how many, you might ask? In My Feelings had a 113% jump in streams in just one day, and people tweeted about the challenge over 2.3 million times. All of the attention pushed the track to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Twitter CEO Pad Murphy explains, Like many songs in the past few years, think Mannequin Challenge, So Gone Challenge, Running Man Challenge, once a meme, challenge, or video hits Twitter, the rest is history. Everyone knows the song and it climbs the charts almost immediately. And I gotta say, that's true. The past few years have been filled with viral dance challenges that make songs explode on the scene or return from the grave. There's definitely something to be said about the impact of using a dance challenge, or in Ray Shremmert's case, a mannequin challenge, to push songs to the forefront of pop culture and rack up insane streaming numbers. Let's think back to 2013, when Bowers Hollem Shake debuted at number one after the song associated meme took off, or when Ghost Town DJ's 1996 track resurfaced to massive popularity, and the Hot 100 after the the Running Man Challenge took off as well. The proof is in the numbers, and with Spotify being the largest streaming service, checking the platform is a good tell-all on if the challenge is helping. Spotify shared exclusive info with Complex about the impact of some of the most memorable dance challenges and how they've affected the streams. The most dramatic pattern is the one-day increase. Harlem Shake, for example, had a 2,162% increase in plays over 24 hours at the height of its viral popularity. And My Boo jumped 731% with the help of the Running Man Challenge. Of course, because of the nature of their associated challenge, these jumps happened quite quickly. The Harlem Shake's largest one-day increase happened just 12 days after the first video launched, and My Boo's happened after only 8 days. As for Drake, In My Feelings, one-day increase happened 14 days after Shiggy uploaded his video. Carl Sherry, the creative director and head of urban music at Spotify says, Challenges have become powerful drivers in music and pop culture. They can resurrect a 20-year-old hit and put it back on the charts, like Ghost Town DJ's My Boo, or help a single reach number one like Ray Shremmer's Black Beatles or Drake's In My Feelings. It's no surprise that artists are grateful for the boost these challenges give their records. Drake posted a video with Shiggy after In My Feelings reached number one. He said, Man got me a number one record today, oh my god. The only downfall is there's no protocol for how or if these challenge creators get paid for the success of songs after they go viral. Shiggy even joked about Drake owing him a check for the success of In My Feelings. For now, it may be premature to figure out the rule book on dance challenges. We may find that the space gets too saturated and the fascination with the dance challenge disappears. But today, we'll just keep blasting in my feelings and asking Kiki if she loves us or not. That's your news for now. For more stories like this, keep it locked to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez.